Hello again and welcome back to part 2 for Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater Foxhound Rank Trophy Guide. Finally, we have made it all the way to the mountain tops, the mountain areas, and unlike part 1, part 2 is much much easier than part 1. Make a save file here, as we are about to tackle the mountain areas. At this position, open your camouflage and equip the spider camouflage that we got from the fear. Open your Kodak and call the number right here, which is a healing radio. 14016. Healing radios pretty much refills your stamina, and you need stamina in order to use the spider camouflage. The spider camouflage allow you to pretty much increase your camo index by 70%. Smoke that guy, continue forward with the area. However, the issue with the spider camouflage is that it trains your stamina pretty fast. But thanks to the usage of healing radios, we're gonna keep on doing this for the entire area. Switch to the animal camouflage right here, as we're not gonna need it for the next area, which is the mountainside. As you enter this area, hold square and let go. You will snipe a guy on top of the mountain. And it will take him down. Pick up the ammo and the stun grenade. Stop right here, tiptoe, and shoot the guard in front of you. Roll right now. Continue climbing. There will be another soldier. Shoot him from far away. Equip the box, then keep on moving. Since we are climbing the mountain, we're gonna equip the box the majority of the time, as it will speed things up. Go down here immediately. Unequip the box, and shoot these two guards by tiptoeing. There will be another guard here. Strafe to the right and shoot him. Now right here, equip the spider camouflage just like we did in the previous area. Open your Kodak and we're gonna call another healing radio. Which is 141.42. Now our stamina has been refilled. We're gonna go to the next area. In mountain top, follow the route that I'm taking here. Roll to the other side. and then continue, trigger the cutscene, and meet Eva. Equip the animal camouflage, and go to your pack pack and equip the Mosin Nagant, the sniper rifle that you get from the end by beating him non-lethally. Pick up the noodles right here. So we are back to mountain top. There will be a soldier here, a fire trooper. Go into first person view, strafe to the left, and shoot him. Drop down and go through the door.
continue forward with the route. So, coming up is gonna be the Fury boss fight, and it is by far the most random, hard boss in the game. The fight itself is so random, and there's a lot of variables that could affect the outcome and the movements needed for this boss in particular ways. I'm gonna show you three different ways where you can defeat the Fury, and that is pretty much based on where the Fury will end up spawning. So, open your Kodak call, and call paramedic to save. You need to save here, because this boss is effing ridiculous. So, if the Fury went to the right side of the area, equip the box and try to bait his attack first. The box is indestructible against flame. Go back, equip your Mosin the guns and do some quick shots. Three shots will knock him over. Bait his attack again. Return. Equip the Mosin the gun. Shoot him twice. Only twice. Bait his attack again. Return. Then shoot him three times. And that's the fight from the right side. If the Fury decide to go to the left side, you want to grab his attention by doing few steps. Then equip the Mosin Nagant, strafe to the left and shoot him three times. Sometimes you cannot bait his attack, so if you do this, shoot him twice, bait his attack, go back, and finish the fight by shooting him three times. If the Fury decided to go to the middle, it is rare, but it happens. Equip the Mosin Nagant, then shoot him three times. He's gonna fall out of the platform, and he's either gonna go to the right side or the left side of the area. Here he went to the right side of the area. Prepare your Mosin Nagant to start shooting. Once he drops, shoot him twice, bait his attack, run away, go back, shoot him three times, and finish the fight. And that's the Fury. Like I said earlier, this fight is random, and it's pretty much dependent on what kind of RNG you get against the Fury. This is why you should save before the fight, and practice, and try your very best until you defeat him using the methods that I taught you. Now we have made it to Grozny Grad. So, here you want to save. So, equip the Mark 22 and take the route and the line that I'm taking here. Stand at the edge of a wall. Strafe to the left, shoot the guard. Then continue forward. As you go into the next area, go to first person view and shoot this guard in front of you. Then equip the box and keep on moving. There will be a guard coming in, he's gonna investigate his buddy, but don't worry, he's not gonna see you for some reason. Apparently this is the reason why the Soviet Union collapsed. Take the line that I'm actually taking and enter the building. So inside the building, cook a grenade, smoke grenade. Reach this position and throw it in front of you. Equip the regular pistol. Aim to the right, shoot, then climb up the stairs. Keep on moving. Rykov will be in front of you. Bump into him, grab him by CQC, and grab him all the way to the locker room. Just like I did. Now go to your camouflage, to their face paint, and equip the mask. Go to your uniform and equip the officer uniform. And continue through the playthrough. Sir. 
ignore the safe here, as we're gonna save in a little bit. After that, open your codec and call paramedic and save. Pick up the fork in front of you, open your cure menu, and remove both the items is stuck in you. A death pill will drop. Use the death pill immediately. The guard is gonna come to investigate. Wait for him to leave the area. Use the revive pill. Equip the pistol and the cigar. Go to him, unequip the pistol, punch him twice. Equip the pistol, punch him three times, just like I did, and he will instantly knock him over. Search his body and pick up the smoke grenade. Now we're going to continue. So this next segment is a little bit tricky to navigate, so follow what I do here. Go down, put your back behind the wall, and inspect the guard to your right. Wait for him to turn around and start moving. Right now. Go all the way to the wall and hug it and head to the left side. Then go up and head to the box right here and crouch. Notice the guard that is moving towards you on the right side. Wait until he turns his face right now and head immediately to the vent. Hug the left wall and keep on moving until the end of it. So this area is very movement specific, so follow what I do here movement wise. Yeah, copy what I do here. You want to grab the attention of the two guards so they can go and investigate. This will give you a free passage. As you reach this position, cook a grenade and throw it at that guard. Then move a little bit, cook another grenade and throw it at the dog. And head immediately to where the dog is. There will be a vent that can, you can crawl underneath. Yeah, these two pipes. And now, head into the sewers. Inside the sewers, drop down all the way to the bottom. Don't worry if you get damaged. We need to get damaged here. That's the reason why we picked up the cigar, because we want to lower our health for the next segment. And follow the route that I'm taking until the end of the sewers. During the Sorrow Encounter, submerge yourself underwater and wait until you die. After that, use the Revival Pill, and that's it.
And now we're gonna head to the cave where we meet Eva. Follow the route that I'm taking here. There will be no soldiers, so don't worry. Right here you want to save. I forgot to save here in the footage, but save or save on this segment. Right here, pick up the box and the ammo, then open your menu, go to your backpack, to your weapon, remove the fork, equip the Mark 22, the M19, remove the single action, equip the SVD, the Mosin Nagant, the stun grenade, and the C3. Go to your item, remove the cigar, and equip the cardboard box B, not A, B. Your screen should look like this. This is the weapons and item you're going to need until the end of the game. After that, continue the playthrough and head to the next segment. Right here, equip the Mark 22 and the box. Cross to the other side, the guard is gonna notice something, then go back, shoot this guard. Equip the box immediately and cross in the middle. If you notice, the two guards are pretty much preoccupied with their downed soldiers so they're gonna go and investigate and ignore everything else that is happening as long as you have the box equipped follow the route that i'm taking and head to the truck in front of you make sure you have cardboard box b like i said go inside the truck and equip it and you will teleport inside the main wing save inside if you want to then follow what i do here shoot the wall Equip the box immediately and equip the C3. We're going to have to plant four C3s across the area. The first one is going to be right here. The second position will be next to a worker. So equip the box and go inside and plant it. The box will delay his interaction with you. And if you do not do so, he's going to see you and he will call an alert and then game over. The third position is behind these trucks. Finally, the fourth position, equip the box and plant it right here. And there you go. Save right here as we're about to fight Volgen. So for Volgen, approach him, grab him and throw him in front of you. Equip the SVD, shoot him once, then wait, then unload all of your bullets against him. Go to the right side, shoot him in the head. That's for phase one. As for phase two, approach him and crawl. Wait for a little bit, start shooting now. Wait, then shoot, wait, then shoot. And that's the fight. I'm gonna repeat this in slow motion so you can understand what I'm trying to do here. Like I said, approach Volgan, grab him, and then grab him in front of you. Equip the SVD, shoot him once, then wait. Wait until start moving again, then start shooting all of your bullets against him. Go to his right and aim at his head. Shoot his head once it is on your sight. Just like I'm doing here. That's for phase one. As for phase two, approach him and be in a crawling position next to him. Equip the SVD and then wait until you see this stance. Once you see it, start shooting. Stop once he take this position. You will not be able to damage him anymore. Wait until he recovers. Right now, 
This is the position where you need to shoot. During this, do a tactical reload. Then keep on shooting. Wait, keep on shooting till you finish him off. If you run out of ammo for your SVD, switch to your M19 and finish him off with it. For the bike sequence, go to your camouflage and equip the OS cam. Then go to your backpack and equip the RPG and remove the C3. Equip the RPG and start shooting at the Shagahod, right here. Equip the stun grenade and throw it at these guard to stun them. You can use the Mosin Nagants if you want to, which takes them in one hit if you want to, but I prefer using the stun grenade. Keep on shooting at the Shagohod. As you notice, we're dealing a little bit of damage to him. This will help us quite a lot against the actual fight later on. However, if Eva approach the Shagohod, stop shooting so you do not end up getting splashed with damage. You can see me here using the Mosin Nagants. However, you need to be fairly accurate. Like I said, it's up to you to use the Mosin Nagant or the Stun Grenade. As for right here, it's better to shoot these three guards on top with the Mosin Nagant, as we're going to have to use the RPG and get some shots against the Shagohod. And you might accidentally shoot at one of those guards and end up killing them in the process. So take them down with the Mosin Nagant. Keep on shooting the Shagohard from a safe distance. And like I said earlier, if Eva approaches the Shagohard just like now, stop shooting. You do not want to end up getting a splash damage, as you will lose a massive amount of health. The reason why you want to equip the Oscamp here is because it gives you 33% damage reduction in this segment alone. And it is extremely useful for this part. Now use stun grenades on these guards, or Mosin Nagants if you want to. However, it's completely a preference, because I very comfortable using the stun grenades over the Mosin Nagants, but you can use the Mosin Nagants as well. There's a guard with an RPG here, you need to take him down. Like I said, stun grenades is better for me. If you want to use the Mosin Nagant, it's up to you. There will be another guard with an RPG here. Keep in mind, the RPG guards are dangerous. They deal half of your health and you might die in the process. Even the Oscam will not save you. There is one in particular here, which is at the end of this segment. Right there. You want to take him down. Because if you do not do so, he's going to shoot you right in the face and you will die. For this part, you want to unequip the suppressor and start shooting the guards. Yeah, the guard is on the bike. You can let go and not shoot the drivers, as they do not deal much of a damage. However, make sure to take down the shooters, the gunners.
As for this segment, take down these uh, bikers. Once you make sure they are all down, equip the RPG. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna do some rapid shooting with the RPG against the Shagohod by doing some tactical reloading in between. Just like I'm doing. Aim at the middle right here. Avoid shooting the treads. The input seems to be a little bit complicated, but try your best to sneak in as many shots as possible against the Shagohod. The reason why you want to shoot is to prevent the Shagohod from shooting back at you. Plus, we are dealing some damage, which will help us against the actual fight in a little bit. You do not need to be perfect with the shots. But like I said, try to shoot the middle and avoid trying to shoot the two treads. Using tactical reloads by equipping and unequipping the RPG. And once you are done with this segment, now you are in the sniping section. Shoot the three C3s here and keep the last one. You can aim at it. Once you hear Eva say here, shoot it, and that's it. Now for the Shago Hot fight, call paramedic and save. So, unlike the previous boss fight, the Shagohod is very easy to defeat. Shoot at the threat, then wait until Eva get behind it and shoot its back. This fight is pretty much dependent on Eva's behavior, so try your best here. Like I said, do not be on a rush. This fight is very easy. When the Shagohod shoot at you, start shooting one of the threats to disable it. And then, once Eva turns around behind it, shoot it in the back. Just like I'm doing. As long as you keep on doing this, you will not get shot by the Shagohod once. Like I said, it's a very easy fight. However, it's based on Eva's behavior and the Shagohod behaviors as well. So... It might take a long time, but that doesn't matter. As long as we are safe, we should be fine. And keep on doing and repeating the same process as we did. Shooting the treads, wait until Eva go behind it, then shoot the back. You can sneak a shot like just like I did here, and it's quite easy to do so. Yeah, every time you see the Shagohod shoot at you, or retreat to the back, you can shoot one of its threats to disable it, and this will allow you to go back and shoot its back. Yeah, don't worry, this fight is very easy. However, the second phase is a little bit tricky. Use the RPG, shoot the threats immediately, then equip the Mosin Nagants and shoot the head with the Mosin Nagants of Volgan. Shoot again. Sometimes things does not work like just what happened here where he get invisibility frames on the treads. If that happens, shoot again. When you have the chance, shoot its head. Shoot again. I'm shooting his head. You notice the rocket on top. If Vulcan shoot a rocket, equip your M19 and shoot it to destroy it. If he shoots the bullets like this, avoid by going either to go to the left side or the right side. Once he stops, equip the RPG, shoot the treads to disable the vehicle. Sometimes the shot does not register. If that happens, just avoid getting shot by Volgan. If he shoots the bullets, go to the right or the left. If he shoots rockets, shoot the rockets that he's shooting at you. And for some reason, it doesn't register. Shoot his head. And that's an amazing finish. The second phase is a little bit trickier than the first phase, but it is not that hard. Now for the second bike sequence. Use the stun grenades in front of you as there are three bikers behind you. You want to take them down.
throw a stun grenade right here. So yeah, basically we're going to use Stun Grenade a lot on this segment. There will be another patch of bikers, throw a Stun Grenade at them. Sometimes you need to throw more than one, so keep on throwing them to make sure that they are down. Keep on throwing stun grenades close to the guards so you can instantly knock them down. So coming up is going to be a checkpoint in front of you. However, there's a guard with an RPG that we need to take down. So there's the guard. You want to throw the stun grenade as close as possible to either blind him or stun him. Because if you do not do so, he's going to shoot a rocket at you and he will deal 50% of your health. So, okay, this segment. Uh, this is the main reason why you need the Oscan equipped here. These guards, on top of their jetpack or whatever they are called, deals a massive amount of damage if you do not take them down with the Mark 22. So try your best to shoot them down. You can save if you want to, to make this area a little bit more safe for you in case you fail or die. However, try your best to shoot the guards. Sometimes a guard might fall next to you after you shoot him and it will deal uh, an explosive damage on you and... Hopefully you will not end up catching on fire because sometimes that happens and if you happen to get catch on fire, open your camouflage menu, switch to a different camouflage, then open the camouflage menu again and switch back to the OS cam. So you can get rid of the fire. Once you hear Eva talking about a log, equip the RPG and shoot the log. Like I said, this segment is random sometimes nothing happens just like what happened here in the footage sometimes uh, things can get out of the way and you will lose a lot of health if that's happened just load a save file and try again so this segment is much easier than the previous one however there are bikers that you need to shoot but they pose no threat at all. So continue with this part until the end of it. After the Kodak call, go to food, 
Use the noodles and feed Eva the noodles. Let me have some more. Then go to the cure and cure Eva. Equip the Mark 22 here. Make sure to put the suppressor back. Then keep on moving. You can save here if you want to. However, keep in mind how much save or how many save that you have. So we do not go over the 25 saves needed for Foxhound rank. And signal for Eva every now and then. You can switch your Oscam to a different one with more camouflage if you're not comfortable using this camouflage. Because as you notice, it is pretty much on the red and you can get spotted easier than the other ones. However, if you kept moving and kept your distance a little bit further from Eva, you will be completely fine. Keep on signaling for Eva to follow you. Open your Kodak and call Paramedic and save, because this part, this area, there's a lot of soldier that we need to take down. Huh. After that, open your Camouflage and equip the Tiger Stripe, if you have not removed your Oz Cam. Equip the Mark 22. There's a soldier on the other side, this one. Shoot him in the head. Signal for Eva to follow you. Notice the soldier that is climbing the hill. You can shoot him if you want to, but as long as you keep your distance, you should be fine. Shoot this guard, then continue moving. There are two soldiers that you can shoot. Shoot them from this position. Don't worry if you miss. For some reason, they cannot see you through this small opening. Then continue forward through the route. Kick the small plant here. This will make a noise and the guard below will hear something and he's going to go to investigate. In the meantime, shoot the guard across the area. Wait for the guard below to move away. Then drop down, there will be another guard, shoot him, wait for Eva to drop down, signal for her, then continue forward. There's another soldier on the bush, that's him, shoot him in the head or you can ignore him completely, if you want to. Then continue to the end. So now for the final boss, the boss. Make a save file, go to your camouflage and equip the Oscam. The boss will start rushing towards you and CQC you. You want to counter CQC her. How you do that? Once you hear snake grunt, <clears throat> press circle once and nothing else. Do not press anything else and you will be able to counter CQC her. Listen. After that, throw her into the ground. Equip the Mark 22 and shoot her head twice. Then hide behind the tree. She's gonna shoot back. Wait for her to run away, then follow her. As you approach her, she's gonna rush towards you and CQC. Counter CQC, just like I said. Wait until you hear Snake grunts, then counter CQC. Throw her into the ground, shoot her twice, and that's it. And we're gonna repeat this process throughout the entire fight. Once she runs away, follow her. 
She's going to come to CQC, you counter CQC. Then throw her in the ground. Sure, twice with the Mark 22. Then hide behind a tree. And keep doing this over and over until you beat the boss. However, keep in mind, the lower the boss's health gets, the faster her reaction be. So there will be less time to counter CQC her, so keep that in mind. There are Mark 22 bullets in the area, so pick them up if you are low on ammo. You can use the Mosin Nagans, but keep in mind you have to tactical reload in order to do consecutive shots. Sometimes this happens where she fluke you and shoots you instead. If that happened, go behind a tree. And every time she rush you to CQC you, counter CQC her. Like I said, once you hear snakes grunt, just press circle and do not press anything. Press it once. Let's see what you're made of. And that's the boss fight. There are other ways to defeat the boss here, but in my opinion, I think this is the easiest and the safest way to defeat the boss in European Extreme. Other ways are faster and high-level advanced strategies that uses a mix of Mosin Nagant and stun grenades and pretty much you influence how she behaved by counter CQC her in a specific way. And I don't think you should worry about that. Take this. Keep it safe. It's our only hope. Compatriot. Why are you giving me this? There's only room for one boss and one snake. Right here, pick up the pistol on the left side. And shoot it. Keep on shooting it until you shoot the bullet. And that's it. Congratulations. You have successfully beaten Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater at European Extreme while also achieving the Foxhound rank trophy. If you find this guide useful, please give this video a like and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Also, if you have any questions, suggestions, type them in the comment below and I'll try my best to answer them back. I would like to mention that I'm also a speedrunner that specializes on speedrunning Metal Gear games at the highest difficulty while also aiming for the highest rank. So make sure to follow me to my YouTube channel and to my Twitch channel as well so you can be notified when I'll be streaming. And there you go. Here's your Foxhound rank trophy. Enjoy it. You deserved it. You are the one who made it all the way at the end. And thank you very much for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you guys in the next video.